Hey guys, what's up? Grimmie and Tam back with another video, and today we have another episode of Tennessee Titans franchise. We are currently seven and five, going into Miami to take on the five and seven Dolphins. After coming off a loss to the Colts in Week 13, then moving up to nine and three, and us moving back down to seven and five, and being now, I think it's like a game and a half technically since we have already played the Jaguars, and they do have the head-to-head -head matchup. Honest, I think it does move us down to one and a half games behind the Jaguars instead of just the common one game behind them. Last week, we talked about how we are still the seventh seed and how we didn't know what we were going to do with Chig Okwankwo going forward since he's on injured on the injury report for the next five weeks. I did mess up. He is now only on four weeks of injury. Uh, he was on five weeks after the game. We simmed a week. He should only be on four. So he will be back for the week 18 game as well as the playoffs if we make it. So we are not going to actually put him on IR. We're going to have to lean on West Coast. We're going to have to lean on Josiah DeGuara going forward. Hoping they can help us out just in any way possible. Josh Wiley's going to have to be the main threat though there at tight end. Which is not great. But it is something we do have to look towards. Most of the tight ends in free agency are mainly blocking tight ends or slower non-athletic guys. And that's just something I can't have right now. We already have one of those guys on the roster in Trevon Wesco. I can't go out and get another one. We do have a breakout D lineman. Jeffrey Simmons has a chance to become an X factor. Hold the Dolphins to less than 50 rushing yards and zero TDs. Or get Jeffrey Simmons three interceptions, three forced fumbles, three tacks for loss or sacks or a combination of the three. That will be pretty difficult for us to do as we haven't stopped the run basically all year. We're one of the worst defenses in the league. Now, we do have a breakout wide receiver. It should be for Traylon Burks. So, and of course, his name doesn't pop up or the coaching staff doesn't pop up. So, yes, it will be Traylon Burks, 150 yards or three touchdowns. So, if we get to near the end zone, we could definitely try to force feed him or we could just try to get him yards as we go along. Either way, we can get him Upgraded to superstar going forward. It will probably also yield him two, if not more, upgrades. I still haven't decided if I want to bring Tahir Tart or Shair back just based off how the defense has played recently. And then we do have an upgrade to look at. I think it is for Traylon Burks and for Will Levis. Both have played phenomenally well these last couple weeks. I'm going to go with slot. It gives you a lot of stuff that you can use a lot more frequently. You know, Short route running, catching, catching traffic is a lot of stuff that I want to work on. He's not necessarily going to play in the slot, but he can still be a relatively good slot, uh, you know, quarterback. I mean, not quarterback, receiver. I'm looking at Will Levis, and I just said quarterback. I'm going to go improviser on Will Levis. We're going to get those stats up, hopefully break sack and throw under pressure. That should help us out a lot in just the fact that our O-line still isn't great, to say the least. So that does get him some extra upgrades weekly strategy is going to stay the same stop the inside run and we're going to try to pass at medium i don't have anything else to really go over whether or not it's changes to the roster i haven't signed or traded or released anybody not that we can trade anybody since it is past week eight if anybody gets an upgrade to their dev trait going into the weekly strategy i will let you guys know but until then i will see you guys when we start the game we have a sunday night game going against the miami dolphins tua versus will Levis. Who will come out on top? I gave them their 1984 throwbacks, and I am wearing the 2015 Classic Aways. So, things will be looking a little different here in today's game. I like these jerseys a lot. Dolphins will start at their own 25 as Tua gets under center and come out on defense right away. I don't know. These jerseys just look so much cleaner, in my opinion. Especially in Madden, at least. I understand if you like the dark blues in real life, but these just look a lot cleaner in game. And I mean, and I like rocking these. I really do. They mesh nicely. You can wear a lot of light blues when people wear their white pants and your team looks completely different, you know. The one thing I will not, I will say I do not like is the fact that when you do rock these jerseys, if people are wearing primary color sleeves, it does stay as the dark blue. It doesn't swap over to the light blue, which I think is like the only bad thing. Oh, there's Jalen Waddle. Nice. <laughs> Our fastest corner is immediately getting beat off the line. Just immediately getting beat off the line. So, I, I that will probably show how today's game will go. Devon A. Chain breaking one tackle, getting up to the second level. Six yards there, second and four now. I, 
They have too much speed. I genuinely do not think we'll be able to stop them most of the game. I genuinely think I won't be able to get that 50 yards rushing challenge done with Jeffrey Simmons. I'll have to, and there's Devon A. Chain. He runs a wheel route. I was expecting a, uh, a run there. He didn't run it, and uh, he has a wheel route, and he's fast enough to take that to the house. 7 nothing early. This is, this is going to be a long game. Up to the 20-yard line is where Will Levis and this offense will start. First and 10, just a little under two minutes into the game, and the Titans are already facing a deficit here. Handoff left side, Spears, Baker. Baker meets him there, one-yard rush there. Tajay Spears last week just did not have it going especially on the ground, and this offense will look to lean on him a little bit, hopefully slow this team down. I think we're going to have to look to slow him down a little bit, give our defense some rest. If we don't, defense is going to get tired real fast. Seven-yard rush there for Tajay Spears, picks up. Now down to third and two. We go five wide here. Break them out. It looks like five are coming, so it's going to be one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Who can win? And Will Levis is going to get sacked. I, I I, was trying to look at those hooks. I was trying to look on that quick out. None of that really appeared open. And I was going to try to scramble, and they just shed it shed as soon as I pushed that R2. As Tua comes back out onto the field, they'll start at out at their own 40-yard line. So they're, they're moving right away. And I think that's Robert Tunyon there as their tight end. So, they do have an offensive weapon at tight end, unlike they do in real life in Durham Smythe. So, expect them to be able to use him. Braxton Barrios underneath three-yard reception there. Four for four, 74 yards. Yeah, getting off to a very quick start. And I know they have Jakeem Grant. He was their kick returner. So, they got even more speed on the bench. Just depending on how much they want to use all these receivers will determine it. Exactly how bad this game will go. Devon A. Chain underneath can't hold on to that football. So you're able to make just enough of a play. Ends up with the ball out on the ground. Incomplete pass. Third and seven now. Look for something quick here. Tyreek just in between both the linebackers. And can't bring him down. It's more animation based than anything. But just can't bring him down there. And he ends up picking up the first. Like I said, long, long game if this is how it's going to go. Just, oh, and Chris Harris is burned, and he's not going to catch him. 87 speed compared to the whatever Tyreek is. And I, I know I had him press or whatever, but, you know, we had we told him to play over top, and he got still got burnt. That, that's tough. Will Love is coming out for his second drive, 5.03 now, and already down 14 nothing at our own 25. Full momentum for the Dolphins. Handoff left side, halfback stretch, get to that edge, at least picks up a, another first down, three for 18 for Spears. Sometimes you got to run to that weak side. I think that's something that a lot of people don't understand is if they, if you still got more blockers on a certain side, you got to run to that side, hope your guys can do their jobs well enough. Bounce it outside, everybody hopped inside, bounce it back out, Tajay Spears four for 33 now. He's getting going. You know, I saw that Javon Holland steps down inside and those backers and D-line couldn't get through. Got to bounce it out. Got to take advantage of those opportunities there. Uh, that's not what I was expecting when I tried to throw that ball. I was expecting it to be layered and lobbed up over the head and hopefully be able to run underneath of it. Instead, it's basically a bullet pass. Incomplete now, second and 10 at the 50-yard line. And just, they send out all-out pressure. I mean, they can do that. You know, you they got three, you know, pretty solid corners. And you got good safeties on the back end. And you got linebackers that have speed that can match with these receivers and tight ends. You can do that type of stuff. Especially in their defense. And there, Roquan Davis again. He He's terrorized us so far. They got three sacks already, and one of them coming, and two of them coming from Roquan Davis. It's too long to go for fourth and twenty-five. Got to punt it. First and ten at the twenty-one. Not going to be able to play a whole ton of man. They just got too much speed all over the field. So I think it's going to be a lot of zone. Elijah Molden doesn't step up, and then Harold Landry just not fast enough to chase down two. And McCreary, by the time he gets to him, two decides to slide. 
152 total yards already. They're gonna they're they're gonna hang 70 on my head. I already fucking know it. Our defense just doesn't have the speed to keep up with them or the talent level, and it's showing right now. We come off Tunyon, and as soon as we do, he gets open and Tua throws it. Luckily, knocked away by Kevin Byard. Well, jarred out. Brings up second and 10, now at the 39-yard line. Kevin Bar Byard is going to have to be a good piece for us today, as well as this defensive pass rush. If I have to hop onto them, so be it, but I don't want to. I'd rather be in coverage trying to help out. Joseph Asai gets through. Molden, pick! He gets his feet down! First and 10 at our 45-yard line. Elijah Molden comes up with a big play off of Joseph Asai's pressure. 216 now remaining. We got to get an offensive drive to go more than just a couple of plays. And there's Roquan Davis again. No, that's Shelby Harris. So they added some pieces onto that D-line and Shelby Harris. He's going to be a good run stopper for him. I don't know how much he's going to do in the pass game, but he's definitely usable. Josh Wiley underneath. Stiff arm gets six. Gets five, technically. Third and four now. Got to put us into a good situation here. I'm going to go with a halfback mid draw here. Start off with us. Five wide. I could see them bringing six and going with that. Just going with heavy pressure here. Like I said, their corners and safeties are good enough to, to hold up when they do decide to send all out pressure. And our line just doesn't get any type of push. Roquan Davis there again. Even if Jerome Baker wasn't a free runner, there's nothing I can really do there. It's fourth and four. I know I shouldn't go for it, but let's just see what they set up in. See what I have a chance at. I think I'm going to go for this. I think Traylon on this out as soon as he breaks could be open. If he's not, and if you know the linebackers run with these outbreaking stuff, Spear should be open underneath. Yeah, Burke's there. Catch down to the ground, first and 10 now. Risky move, but we're already down 14 nothing. We got to try to get this offense moving. Got to keep them consistent moving. I don't think we can get behind the sticks here at all. If we get behind the sticks, that's when it's really going to start affecting us even more. You know, because like I said, they can send those all-out pressures. They got good enough, a good enough defense to be able to send those all-out pressures. Tajay Spears in the screen game. And Jameer Slayer just doesn't want to run, apparently. Tajay Spears left on his own. Going to have to hop out of bound. End of the quarter. Yeah, they have 152 total yards on 12 plays. On 14 plays, we have barely 48. So they have 104 more yards than us on less plays. That's that's not the exact way I was hoping this game would go, if I'm being honest. Burks, we're going to have you come on a drag. I don't, I don't need you to get deep. Just come right away. Depending on what Hopkins' coverage is, he's one-on-one. -on -one, throw it up. Hopkins out of reach. Second and ten now. Will Levis is not a great ball there. In real life, Hopkins would at least make a play on that. It's Madden, though, so it's out of reach. He's not going to even try. Second and 10 now. We're going to go with an RPO. Let's see what happens. I was going to try to get it to the receiver, but... Oh, and Tajay Spears is down, so we're going to see a lot of Hassan Haskins today. We're also going to see some Jarek McKinnon, former Kansas City Chief. Third and eight now. Don't really love what everybody's on right now. I'm going to switch some things up. Snap the football. Will Levis scrambling. First down. Eight yard rush there. Was just trying to see what everybody was coming with. Looks like, man, I'm going to hop out of this screen pass then. Go to stick. Let's see. Neither, neither one of these linebackers drop right away towards Wiley. I can hit him. Hopkins catch. Tries to get running. Javon Holland there. Tackle. Eight yards there. Yeah. Tajay Spears out with injury. He's going to be out for the, probably the rest of the game. I'm probably going to personally keep him out. This isn't really a game I was looking forward to. I know they're 5-7, and seven, but I think we all know what the Miami Dolphins are capable of. Not really... I don't really think we have the greatest chance, especially with how our defense is. Second and two, one yard rush there for Hassan Haskins, third and inches now. I really want to go to the, one of those wildcat looks, but the fact that you know they screwed me out of basically last week's game makes me kind of nervous to go to that. 
Third and inches. Going to go with the power out play. Thought the edge was there. Thought we washed enough players down. And no. I don't even know who 21 is though. Deshaun Elliott. Probably should know that since I have him in my Broncos franchise a year after he would be in Miami. But I do not. I did not know that. Fourth and inches. Going to motion Wiley. Get an extra guy out there. A no, that Spears back out on the field. I don't know why, but he does score. We're going to take him out after that, though. I just can't risk him being injured for long. I said substitute, and apparently they just don't want to listen. 14-7. Dolphins, even with all that speed, don't want to return the football. They'll take a touchback. 25-yard line. They will start. I don't think sending a blitz is probably that smart. We're going to drop in the zone. Make them think we're sending a blitz with those safeties coming down. First and ten, they run the football. Devon I A Chan, is it A Chain or is it A Chan? Uh, A Chan. I think it's. I think he said it's A Chain, right? Like it's an A, it, like it's A Chain, right? Something like that. Second and nine now. Tyreek in the flat. Monty Rice gets over there, takes him down. Third and two. Kind of want to send pressure, but then if, you know, it leaves our back end even weaker than what it already is by itself. Could be bad news if we do that. They run the ball with Jeff Wilson, and he plows forward for three. Picks up three, first and ten. I think that was our our big opportunity there to come up and make a play. Going to have Kevin Byer drop back into coverage. I don't need you coming. I really, really don't. And I don't know who he was throwing that ball to. Maybe it was he Mostert. If it was, uh ball was a little bit behind him, and he didn't even know the ball was coming. So not a great pass there. Second and 10 now. Hold him to five here. We could end up getting something going on this defensive drive. No, they get a good screen. Racks and Barrios, third and one now. This is go for it territory, so it's probably two down. So we can't get too excited even if we come up with a stop here. It won't really amount to a whole ton. Gotta be, gotta be better. Gotta be better. This, yeah, they're running the football. I guessed the wrong gap, and A Chan, A Chain goes for a first down once again. You know, and that, and that's my fault more than anything. I'm not gonna blame the defense for that. That's definitely my fault. Gotta play better. Gotta, 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 gotta play better. Gonna, no play action fake. And just McCreary, this is not going to help his development, you know. He just isn't the fastest corner out there, and he's just not a good enough corner to really be left alone on islands, but we have to. We can't just run zone every day and just get picked apart. I think two is accurate enough and good enough to. And there goes Jalen Waddle, touchdown, starting off at our own 20-yard line, 434 remaining in this half. Uh, Mark West Stevenson just has not been as effective as he once was. And, and I'm not saying he'll lose his roster spot, but there there might be a discussion amongst the team of whether or not we keep him around much longer. I know he's contributed to a lot of our games, but at some point we do have to have a discussion. If he's not producing in the you know return game, and then Wesco and fucking Dillard, what are you doing? You know, if he's not producing in the return game, he doesn't ha add a whole ton of receiving value. I don't trust him as a receiver. Do we look to get rid of him? It would be the question. Hopkins one-on-one. -on -one, and that's just another arid ball. I don't know why, but out routes are just so unbearably badly thrown this year. Like, if I'm throwing a ball at 20 yards, it's going to be at 20 yards no matter what. Whether it's an out or over the middle, it's going to be the same. No matter what, I know throwing outside technically means you're having to throw it a little bit further, but fuck. Fourth and inches, I'm going for it. I do not care. This is fourth and inches. Our O-line should be able to get enough of a push, I feel like, on fourth and inches. Oh, and there's Jarek McKinnon. He picks up big yards. He could be a little bit of a sneaky back right now, especially with Tajay Spears getting benched, hoping to not cause any more injuries coming to him. He could be a sneaky back. Hopkins over the middle, just pressure in Will Levis' face. Not not a great throw either. Um, I'm kind of leaning back to my left, trying to throw back into the middle of the field. But I think that's a ball we have to hit on. Will Levis has played good, though. I'm not going to discount what he's done. 
you know, back to back 300 yard performances. He's led us to very good games. It's not been on him. He's had a couple bad balls that haven't broken his way. But overall, he hasn't been a bad quarterback, to say the least. Uh, if he continues to play like he does, like he has, he could easily be looking at the franchise quarterback. We could easily be looking at the franchise quarterback. Not he could. Uh, I'm going to go with something a little risky here. We're going to go with a play-action pass. Try to get this offense moving. Two-minute warning here. Wasn't quite in the play-action pass I wanted anyway. Let's go back and rethink this. It's two. It's 52 yards. They said last week that's too far for Wolf. I know that. I know last week there might have been wind or something, but I trust this offense right now to go out there and try to get something for us. There's Hopkins catch, first and ten, down to the 21 now. For some reason, his icon wasn't pa popping up. So when I pushed it and he started to throw the ball, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fucking off target, isn't it? Luckily not. First and ten. That corner, these corners have outside shade currently, but I feel like with a good release, Traylon Burks could be open. He's open. Hit him. Picks up a little over twelve there, thirteen maybe. First and goal now. Why would we run four verts in the in first and goal? Madden's a bunch of dumbasses. I swear to God, they're dumb. <laughs> like. Yeah, let's run let's run four verts when it's fucking first and goal. Good thinking, big dog. <laughs> like <laughs> you know those eight yards that we need? You know how it's only eighteen yards? Let's run four verts. First and goal, half back stretch. Get to the edge. Nothing there. They have plenty of corners and safeties out there. Son Haskins not really getting the room to run that he needs. Which is unfortunate. Going to run back to DeGuara's side. Hopefully he can get this block. Dillard gets up to the second level. He does. But Hassan Haskins just, I don't know why, but it looked like he was stuck in quicksand there. Third and goal. We're going to have to go to the passing unit now. I don't think there's any way we can go back to the run unit when nothing's happening. Yeah, cool. I so want to run Z spot, big dog. Thanks. I don't want to see it 32 times. Yep, Z-Spot, Z-Spot, Z-Spot. I don't want to run it. Stop suggesting it. We're actually going to have Phillips come on a drag. I think too many curls here could result in nothing going our way. Going to motion McKinnon out. We're just I know this is stupid, but I'm going to have him on a streak. See what happens with this defense. And Traylon Burks, catch! I saw him out of the corner of my eye, and I'm like, fuck, I don't know if I'm going to jump past this line right now. Touchdown, Traylon Burks makes it a 21-14 game, almost the end of the half. But we all know there's plenty of time for all Madden to come back and make it another score. But good throwing, good catch by Traylon. It was kind of risky, and it came up clutch. Dolphins starting at their own 25. Hopefully that stupid magic lot. Nope, they're not, they're not going to be stupid about this. They're going, They're going to go for it. They're going to try to push the ball down the field real fast. I was hoping the stupid Madden logic would kick in and they would be like, oh, well, you know, we're backed up and we're already ahead. There's no reason to go for it. Why would a team that's up seven with 40 seconds go for it? I have no idea. Whereas a team that, you know, is tied going into the end of the game doesn't go for it with 40 seconds. I still don't get that. I understand the Colts ended up beating us, but there's, I don't know, just... Not a whole ton of sense is made with Madden's logic a lot of the time. In my opinion, anyway. Yeah, they're just going to dink and dunk us all the way down the field. 25 seconds. They're going to let the clock run. I'm surprised they're not getting up to the line. Now they call their timeout. So they left three seconds get off the clock. That's the difference between being able to st spike a ball or not. I don't understand that logic there either. Tier Tart gets through. Amani Hooker misses the tackle. Tackle him down. They got to go to the line. Looks like they're going to go for it. Back everybody off. Play prevent. Throw a ball to Tunyon. He catches it but goes down. That'll be the half. 21-14. We've battled back. You know, we got one defensive stop and the offense has played pretty well. So, yeah, 249 passing yards in the first half. That is, that is unfortunate to say the least. So our offense will come out at the 25-yard line. Good starting field position for us. We ended up deciding just to take a knee. 
I'm going to try to lean on Haskins. He hasn't had a great day running the football. But if you go away from the run, it's never going to work. Six yards there, Hassan, seven for 21. Back on a little bit correct of a path. Um, Seven for 21, three yards on average. Not bad, just it's not good either. Looks like we got some blocking. Hassan shugs one ta up to the 48, eight for 42, doubles his yards on one carry. That'll get the offense going. Him and McKinnon hopefully can get something going here. Haskins, former Michigan Wolverine. Oh, and this wham play works out pretty good. Only if Peter Skaronski could have held his block for just a second longer. Could have been up to that third level going up towards the safeties with even a blocker ahead of us. Even. Second and six, run of the weak side here. Our O-line just needs to get out and run. Second and six, and Jerome Baker tracks us down, but third and inches. Surprised they don't just give us that first down there. It looked like we had forward progress. I guess not, though. Going to go back to that left side. I'm trusting this left side a little bit more with Peter Skaronski and Andre Dillard more than that right side, but doesn't mean they're much better to begin with. 11 for 55, that's five yards of carry. I'll take that all day of the week. That is exactly what I need. Z spot here. We're going to go towards this. Get Hopkins out on an out route. Traylon Burks on this little quick curl. Could be something going here. D hop in the flat by himself. Steps out of bounds though. Second and one now. 11 for 15, 89 yards. Not quite the day he was having last week at this point in the game, but still not bad. First, second and one now. Sorry if you heard any of that in the background. My cat decided to get a water bottle off the counter and start smacking around. So there might be some noise in the back of one of these audio clips. D hop over the middle, holds on to the football. 12 for 16. He's not having a bad day. It's just this defense came out to play a lot harder than what this offense decided to play with. I, I kind of want to see if Wesco would be open here. Have Wiley go back across the other way. See what would get open. Nothing really going here. They're just not running with Will Levis and he scores. I don't know if that would count in real life. It looked like he almost stepped out of balance before he hit the pylon. They're going to give it to us, though. 21-21 here halfway through the third. Offense is battle back. First and 10 for the Dolphins. They're going to snap the football. Play action fake. Drop back. Fire. That's all you. That's picked. Jalen Waddle not be able to come up with the tackle, but fuck, there's Tyreek. I forget that he's on the field as well. Kevin Byer, though, I don't know what the fuck Tua was doing. We played, f like, cover six, and this motherfucker just throws up a prayer to Waddle. Kevin Byer being able to get in front and just make a play on the football. That's just a good play. First and ten at our own 46. Jarek McKinnon in the backfield now with Will Levis. We're going to run this little guard pull. Slayer, get up to the backer at least. Slayer's a little slow. I don't know if I want him playing guard as much. Maybe Nicholas petit Fier might be a little bit better suited for that role. Second and seven now. We go play action fake here. Going to have some tight ends getting open here. Got to look for something though. D-hop, but I just don't think we have the presence right now to throw that deep ball. Third and seven. After an incomplete pass. Basically a throwaway out of sack. Run, run this drive wheel again. It worked w well for us twice last week. Phillips gets left with a... Yeah, but it's Jerome Baker. But then again, Shaq Leonard's not the slowest linebacker either. And just can't get that ball out quick enough. Fourth and seven now. Christian Wilkins gets through. Forces the incomplete. This would be, what, a 59-yarder? Right? Fuck it, if I'm wrong, then oh well, have to use a timeout to get back to the formations. Yeah, 59 yarder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick it. I'm gonna kick it. Let's see. Oh, that's why. I'll just take the delay game here. Yeah, so taking a delay game, going to 4th and 12. I know in real life they wouldn't accept the penalty, uh, mainly because it would just j benefit me more. But unfortunately, Madden doesn't have that logic. Gonna punt this football away with not with six miles an hour of wind pushing back towards us should give us a little bit of help. 
It's not quite enough. They'll bounce into the t- end zone touchback. They'll get the ball at the 20 yard line. So only a net average of night of what is it? 29 yards. So not particularly great. Halfback stretch this way. Monty Rice meets him in the hole. Two yard loss there. Second and 12 now. Like I said, like I've been saying time and time again, players that are playing well, even if they're not great overalls, will continue to get looks going into next year. Players that aren't playing well, even if they're good overalls, will not. Guys like Shair, who haven't played particularly great, might not get looks or a new contract. Braxton Berrios underneath for a four-yard reception there, making it third and eight, making it just a little bit more manageable. Don't love what I'm seeing, but I don't really love a lot of what I see on this defense. That's Tyreek across the middle. I was trying to get there because he lollipopped it. But once again, Shair just not fast enough to make a play on that ball. Five receptions, 98 yards for Tyreek here today. First and 10 at their own 34, marching. Four minutes now remaining in this quarter. Oh, and Monty Rice just gets frozen. Did you guys see that at the end? When I pushed triangle, because I thought he was in a little bit better position than what he actually was, it was trying to make him go for the ball, and he just got frozen. And he just stood there. First and 10 now. They've only ran the ball seven times. That's that's depressing. Here's Jakeem Grant. More speed on the field. Braxton Berrios goes down, and they arguably replace him with a faster player. 10-yard reception there. Jakeem Grant's just not going to have the same hands that Braxton Berrios has, but they both don't have super reliable hands, so it's not like you're losing much. Devon A. Chain. Or A. Chain. H- a chain? Yeah, I, I don't know. Whatever his fucking name is. That is one thing that I do not like is like when players are like, no, my name's pronounced this. It's like, no, that's not how you spell it. Like, like I get it if it's actually pronounced like that, but you need to let us know sooner. Connor Williams, the center, former Texas Longhorn, Longhorn and former Cowboy goes down. I know for, didn't he play tackle in college and then he got moved to guard at in the Cowboys and just didn't produce well now that he's playing center with the Dolphins. He's actually doing really well. Crazy. There's like, in real life, Isaiah Wynn uh, is playing guard for the Dolphins and what time he has played when he hasn't been injured. He's played well as well. Buddy Johnson, get over there. Shire ends up with the tackle. Third and nine now. Seven rushes, 16 yards. At least we're stopping their run games, though. When it comes to late in this game, they shouldn't be able to just run the football on us, which is the good news. We'll be able to hopefully stop them and force them into some tough situations. Joseph Asai, are they really going to give half that sack to Harold Landry because he pushed him into him? Like he was tackling him into Harold Landry? That's so shitty because that's fully Joseph Asai right there. He beats his man. Oh, and the kicker misses. Is that Jason Sanders that just missed? Yes, it is. So we'll have good starting field position. Wow. Everybody besides this passing unit for the Dolphins is slowly letting them down. Tie game late here in the third, and we're getting an opportunity to go up and have our first lead of the day. First and 10, 45-yard line. Going to hand off Hassan Haskins' left side, and that's probably going to be a holding penalty probably coming back. So those couple yards that we ended up getting aren't going to mean anything. It's going to be first and 20 at the 35 now. So now we got to play even more aggressive, try to pick up even more yards. Just haven't had the opportunities for Traylon Burks. And just not a great ball, but on the move to his right. Guy bearing down on him. I'm not going to hold that against him. Second and 20 now. I don't even know if I want to hand this ball off because I know it's not going to go for much. We are going to anyway. Wilkins just on to Guara. Ends up shedding at the right moment. Brings down Hassan Haskins now. Third and 17. D-hop. Nobody's over top of him. I know this is cheesy, but throw the ball quickly. D-hop. I don't think he has the speed to beat everybody, but he definitely has the speed to pick up yards. 13 for 20, 158. First down at the 13 now. Going to give Hassan Haskins a couple more chances to go out and get us another score. Five receptions, 100 yards for D-Hop. 
He's been one of the only consistent parts of this offense. Start of the new quarter, fourth quarter. Wiley here, as long as that corner doesn't play too deep, could be open. And run a return route with Phillips, that little zig. Bring Burks in motion. I was waiting for Burks to get open. I didn't really see anything else. I knew Burks was going to come open eventually. It's just, it's just taking too damn long. Did I pick this play? I don't. <sighs> I don't think I picked this one, but okay. Wheel switch. Josh Wiley. That's a touchdown. Josh Wiley, rookie tight end touchdown. Going up twenty-eight twenty-one here in the fourth. First and 10 at their 25, 9 24 remaining handoff. Devon H. Uh, Ain. Eight rushes, 18 yards. We're slowly slowing them down on the ground. They just can't run this football. I don't know if they just don't have the offensive line or if they're just not used to, used to having to run this football a whole ton. Can line up in zone here, trying to keep them from getting down the field. There's Shair and Jeffrey Simmons. And they officially have 50 yards today, which is unfortunate because Jeffrey Simmons, I don't think, is going to get his superstar X-Factor upgrade. I don't think Traylon Burks is going to get his superstar either. But third and five now. Oh, Jakeem Grant's open if he sees him. Luckily, he doesn't. Fourth and five, they're going to punt the ball away. 8.20 remaining. Jakeem Grant was wide the fuck open. Like, I'm tell like even if I would have started running to try to go get him, if they would have noticed him and thrown him the football, he it w would have been over. And just, Jesus, who the fuck is that? Is that Stone? Who's their backup safety? Whoever the fuck their backup safety is, is pissing me off. Stop chasing me down. <laughs> First and 10 in our own 27. Hand off Haskins. Stiff arm, but goes backwards. So goes from about a five-yard rush to a three-yard rush. Jerome Baker with the tackle. Four tackles for him on the day. I've always liked Jerome Baker. Jerome Baker's been one of my favorite linebackers since he came into the league. He's just so fast. So fast and such a good backer. First and 10 there after Hassan Haskins rushed 14 for 77. He's played well. He, he isn't a Derrick Henry, but he's definitely been good for, for us since the Tajay Spears injury. And motion Josh Wiley. Oh, that's good blocking. Get to the outside and puts a shoulder into Javon Holland's chest. 15 for 89. He's played well as well. You know, we he's running. It's not hard to find running backs in this game that you like to use. I don't like super speed guys. It's I don't know why. Speed guys in Madden this year, especially at the running back position, just don't seem to work as well. I think it's a lot more about just like, I don't know. And then, like I've said before, you know, having that lack of speed in certain positions, kind of like quarterback when you scramble, is kind of nice because it doesn't feel like you're running into anything. It feels like you can slow it down and get out of a sticky situation a little bit easier. First and 10 here at the 28, six minutes remaining, slowly clicking off this clock. Dump off to McKinnon. I think his man went the wrong way. Step back. 15 for 22, 190, and two touchdowns for Will Levis. Another good game from him, you know. I think he's going to be the franchise guy going forward. He, I think he's proven that much. Malik Willis is a fine backup, and we have at least two more years of contracts, of already negotiated contracts, and Hassan Haskins into the end zone. Touchdown. Wow, Hassan Haskins. He's, yeah, just continuously fighting for those yards. Gets into the end zone, 35-21. And I don't think the Dolphins are coming back. Full momentum on the last drive, and they couldn't get anything going. Full momentum here. Five minutes and 40 seconds left. They have no chance. So again, five after, a, I would assume that's Robert Tunyon. That looks like his player model. Uh, second and five after five-yard catch from him. You won't see it, but yeah, five-yard catch from him. Braxton Berrios, just a little overthrown. Third and five now here. Tua is struggling, to say the least, to get the, the ball to the, these receivers right now. I don't even think it's like the offense. I think it's just two at this point. Screen pass, and they just got three linemen out there against Shair. Ends up picking up the first down. They call that screen pass at the perfect opportunity. Gets us 
coming in on blitz and just dump it over our heads just enough. First and 10 now. Tunyon on that corner. Catches. Goes backwards, though. So they're going to count it as not forward progress lost, but him going backwards on his own, breaking that tackle. That sucks for them. Second and three now. Four minutes. They need to get moving if they want a chance at winning this football game at all. Tunyon underneath. Trying to go for the strip there. Just a little punch out. Nothing going there. 23 for 30. 7 for 68 for Tunyon. Yeah, just slowly but surely marching down this field. They're going to dink and dunk us, it seems like. Granted, we have short pass coverage on. Tyreek, medium route there. First and 10 now. 338 for Tua. Felt, feels like he's went for a lot more than that. First and 10. He most are underneath, and he can't hold on to the football. Chris Harris comes up, makes a play on it, and it'll bring up second and 10. Clock stopped at 322. feel like you got to score within the next couple plays if you really want a chance. Oh, and a lineman. I don't know what happened there, but all of a sudden the ball gets tipped up into the air as Barrios was coming across that middle. And the ball just goes out of out of rhythm there. Tier Tart gets through. He's not quite quick enough to come up with the sack, but enough to force a fourth down and 10. But they do have to go for it. I think we drop into coverage, play this correctly, and we could be looking at an easy victory going forward. Now let's just drop into cover four. Play underneath. Play with a little bit of aggressiveness. Cover in this middle. Cover in this middle. I see Tunyon. They throw it. Most are out of bounds and behind the line. We will take over at our own 27. I don't know what Tua was doing. Was he facing pressure there? I guess a little bit. Harold Landry was coming free. He was just like scrambling backwards and threw it off his back foot to Mostert. Brings up a first and 10 for us at least though. Back to this outside run game. Four yards there and Nicholas petit Fier goes down. So after not having him for six games due to suspension... He might be facing an injury and being out. I don't think I'll allow him to come back. Jalen Duncan now in the game. Picking up three there with Hassan Haskins. 18 for 113. A touchdown. Yeah, we'll just keep Jalen Duncan in. I think he can do fine enough over these next three minutes and change. I don't really feel like pushing Sailor out to tackle right now. Just don't think that's the move. Bringing Wesco into the backfield as a fullback and lead blocker. And Hassan Haskins just up the middle. They just don't have a linebacker presence right now. No linebackers feel like they're coming down and just stopping the run. Don't have to get this playoff before the two minutes, so we will not. First and ten, though. Two-minute warning. Up 14. That's, it's crazy that they scored, I think, 14 of their 21 points in the first quarter. And if not 21 of their 21 points within the first 15 minutes of the game. That's crazy that's crazy and then they just could and then their offense just like fell apart i don't think our defense really made too many changes and too many good plays i think their offense just fell apart inside zone second and six here they're stacking the box a little bit heavier now which is understandable they got to come up and make some type of play if they want any chance third and six they stop us they have one timeout. I think the smart move is just to run the football. We're up 14. If they truly make a comeback, then, you know, we just weren't prepared enough. I think running the football just makes a whole lot more sense here. Will Levis will pick up the first and more. Cater Kohu, suck my ass. <laughs> will Levis is down. Fuck me. Will Levis is upset on the sideline and understandably could be out. If we just lost Will Levis for like the rest of the season, I'm actually going to be upset because I Malik Willis has played good for us in spare in you know time, but I don't think he's like the the playoff quarterback for us. Hassan Haskins one on one, put his shoulder down first and goal now. He's going to run this wham play again. They're not really stacking a whole ton of D linemen. We've been running them over all day. Little kick out block. Hassan 
end zone. Touchdown, Hassan Haskins. He goes into the end zone once again, going up 21 points. I think that's like 28 unanswered points at minimum, if not uh, 35 unanswered points for the Tennessee Titans. What a game from this rushing unit. Our offensive line figured it out, said, hey, put your shit on our back and let's go. And it's not like Will Loves played bad either. It's not like he was like throwing interceptions and we were just like losing this first half of this game. He, The offensive line just played well when running the football. 136 remaining. Not a whole ton of hope left for the Dolphins. They'll still come out here with their starters. Possibly try to get something going. But in real life, I know they would probably just end up running the ball out, calling it a day, and just, you know, going back to the drawing board. Here, they're going to throw to Tyreek. Just come up with the tackle. I don't want you guys to do anything special. We don't need anything special right now. Just play smart more than anything. Right there, two corners there. Chris Harris kind of got lost in coverage. Still getting the completion there off, though. Elijah Molden goes for a swat away. Doesn't quite get it. He he made a good play. He was with him to a, threw a good ball. He just didn't quite make the play, and I'm fine with that. Oh, Jalen Waddle's open. I don't know if I accidentally run committed or something. What the fuck was that? Why did everybody just, like, stand still? Waddle's going to waddle his ass over the sideline. I'm going to leave it as is. Oh, Todd A. Spears is in. Okay, cool. Well, we're running this play. It's a little jet pass as Han Haskins is going to get a pass. And Will Levis is back in as well. Yeah, we're just going to fucking end this game. Let's not fucking risk everybody getting injured, please. We end up winning 42-28. to I'm pretty sure besides that last touchdown, there was 35 unanswered points. If I'm correct. We just played really well. I don't know what... Tua just looked, you know... I don't, I don't want to say confused, but... Almost in a panicky state for most of that second half, if not all that second half. He just did not look good. And then this defense, they just weren't adjusting all that well. Traylon Burks won't get his upgrade, and neither will Jeffrey Simmons. But we walk away with a victory, and that does push us closer to the playoffs. I'm going to view the highlights and get some screenshots and stuff like that. But overall, what a good game from us. You know, we're going to go just strictly our stuff. And yeah, Will Love is 15 for 22, two touchdowns, 190 yards. Hassan Haskins, 24 attempts, 146 yards, six yard average. Should have had a higher average. That's my fault. Probably shouldn't have let him run at the end of the game. Two touchdowns for him. Tajay Spears, eight for 38 and a touchdown for him. Will Love is five for 67 and a touchdown for him. And then Jarek McKinnon, two for 20, no touchdown for him. D Hop, five catches, 100 yards. Traylon Burks, four catches, 34 yards. Jerick McKinnon, three for 21. Tajay Spears, two for 14. And Josh Wiley, two for 24. So not a whole ton of passing opportunities here today. But, you know, the like I said, we won. That's the major thing here. Hainsey and Peter, Peter Skaronsky both give up sacks. So this interior O-line did not play well today. Tax for loss, two for Harold Landy, one for Farley, one for Rice, one for Osai, one for Simmons, and one for Shair. And then sacks, there was only half a sack shared, well, a sack shared between Osai and Landry, which should have went strictly to Osai. Molden and Bayer both came up with clutch picks there. Good for them. Kicking, just six extra points made for Trey Wolf. And Stonehouse did well in the uh, punting. But like I said, I'm going to grab screenshots and I'll meet you guys back at the main menu. We will sim a week, see where we are standing in the playoffs, and continue from there. So, a couple things to take care of. Uh, both breakout players did not get their challenges done. He did? How did he get his done? Did we, did we like, stop the run enough? I guess so. Jeffrey Simmons, Superstar X Factor. That's cool with me, big dog. I, I didn't think we got it. So, that's why I was kind of confused. Traylon Burks definitely didn't, though. Um, that's unfortunate. Not getting him progressed in the right direction, you know. Coming off a big game, I wish the I wish that game could have went a different way. But you know, with them having good corners and stuff, it's kind of understandable as well. We're gonna go power rusher with Jeffrey Simmons still. 
He is a superstar X factor now for us. He has continuously played good, and he will be a long-term plan, well, part of this franchise. We're going to go slot for Elijah Molden. Slot is, if, if you're going to play a lot of man, slot's better to upgrade than just man to man. But if you're going to play zone, then you should upgrade zone, of course. So we do a lot of slot for upgrades, as well as Kyle Phillips getting slot as well. Get him hopefully more involved in the offense moving forward as well. We're going to go power back for Hassan Haskins. Um, just something I like to do. I like to have a good, strong running back that I can just go down the middle with. Just pick up three or four yards. Antonio Maffi, we're going to upgrade power as well. I need my guards to just be able to maul the living shit out of defense tackles. That will do it for upgrades. We do move up to 8-5 and five on the season. Looking really nice and looking towards the playoffs. We're going to go ahead and sim real quick. We sh we're going against the Texans. We are They are coming to town. So it looks like in week 17 we will, going, we will be going to their place. Uh, we do have weekly strategy, but it doesn't look like anything else currently at the moment with the rest of the to-do list. Um... And then we'll check out playoff picture real quick. But with that being said, guys, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, we actually are up to six now, taking out the Bengals. Uh, and we will we would actually be heading to Indianapolis, so they would have a chance to beat the living shit out of us again, which is always nice. But like I said, if you guys enjoy this video or any of the videos like this here on my channel, I'd appreciate it if you guys stick around and subscribe. Hit that like button and comment down below. How's your franchise going? You know, I know a lot of you guys are probably much further with with your franchises than I am. It's just, it's been hard for me to record, whether it's been my PC or uh, who I live with, you know, us, our lineups, uh, our, you know, work schedules haven't lined up as well. So I haven't had chances to record. If you live with other people and if you tr have tried to be a content creator, you know what I'm talking about. You don't want to disturb those people with you talking loudly. So I have to find time in my day where they're gone or something like that to be able to record. So it's been kind of difficult recently, but hopefully that will change hopefully soon as I have been able to record a little bit more than usual. But like I said, if you guys enjoy this content, please stick around and subscribe, whether it's the roster updates, the franchises, the rebuilds, or anything else here on my channel. I'd appreciate it if you guys hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back with more videos like this. I'm out. Peace.